Hi guys, Lucy here and welcome back to my channel. So it's now officially the end of June. So that means it's time for a new reflecting of this particular month, which is June. So um, just so you know, I actually pre-recorded this the day before because technically today I'm actually going to be out helping my brother move. So um, I'm pre-recording this, so it's just so much more simpler. So let's just have a general chat about June. So how was my fitness plan and my fitness has gone this month well it didn't even go to plan um my mental illness is something that i have been um battling for nine years and it's something that always 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 i bring up and it's the most truthest well it's very true thing that i go through and it is always always really tough on me my depression um gets on me like this motivation like you're motivated and then one two three push, and then it just comes climbing down for me and and as i'm trying to properly go on my products i'm finding it a little bit hard to know what i have for my post recovery and then to do fitness because with me i prefer to do fitness straight away as soon as i wake up because it's easy, it's simple, and it's how I've al always done it. And then I would, I will have my shake straight afterwards. And the thing that really incredibly sucked about um, not being able to um, properly figure that out is that um, this month ha I had to order a new alley because it does cost a lot of money for some products and especially if you're all if you're only ordering free products can be up to nearly two hundred dollars and since i'm on the doll i literally am waiting every two weeks to be able to get um my doll and actually pay for it and it's something that um i'm very proud to be on have a life absolutely it's just that it just sucks when I'm trying to um, be able to get fit and knowing what I'm supposed to be doing, it can become incredibly confusing. But that's okay. I got great people that I am following and they are helping me. So even though the fitness and the uh, nutrition didn't go to plan, I'm still working on it. And that's more that I can say. This week has been incredibly tight though. So, let's go to my next little question I've already written down. How was my first Herbalife event go? Well, I was very proud of myself because up to probably three hours or so, because I make sure I had lunch, lunch and sort of dinner before I left because I was going to be out for a very long time. Um, when it stopped and started raining, I thought to myself, you got your shit already together, now get out and go. Exactly what I did. Even though I was sort of starting to have some symptoms of a bit of a panic attack, I still stayed on that bus, went into the city, walked my stuff, walked in high heels, was, which incredibly sucked, but I went there. And I felt amazing and it's one of the reasons why I released um, a fitness journey blog and that took a lot of work to be able to do that video and I probably won't be doing a blog for a while because that was just a lot of work and I really didn't realize how long of stuff you need to get for video and all the things that you need to do in vlogging and it was just annoying and the fact that I, I edited it all on my phone because my editor sucks. One more that my computer sucks. And I'm still saving up for it. But anywho, how did I feel when I get home? Well, I was I was absolutely exhausted. Um I literally waited at the interchange probably for fifteen to twenty minutes before my bus came. And this is literally at nine something PM at night. I'm freaking waiting for it. I had f I had three people who were mucking around and were annoying me, but I had my 
uh, my um, headphones on full blast. And the bus that was waiting turned out to be my bus. And I almost had a mental fit at it. And um, when I got home, I was exhausted. I had severe blisting on my feet. I physically couldn't walk for almost four days. And that's from wearing high heels. Mum has already has been telling me to throw out my amazing shoes. It ain't happening. <coughs> But, anywho, I did have a good night. I learned a lot of things I already knew about. Like, if a product um, you know doesn't work, you shouldn't sell it. But, this product does work. Herbalife works for me. But, what did I learn? Well, if I want to be healthy, I want to be successful, that's up to me. I've learnt that um, to try and get off my ass more to be able to do what I want to do and to make sure I'm on my products and making sure that I'm doing the 20% fitness, which I did not do this month and I apologise. But, um, like I have said already, my mental illness has been affecting me a lot and it has always affected me. And it's something that I'm still currently am working on. There's nothing wrong when it comes to mental illness. Mental illness is something that um, runs through a lot of family history. That has a massive sting stigma around it. And we need to, to be able to understand. Not to judge. And that's just always how I've always been. I don't judge based on other people's journeys. Because it's like I'm giving them the right to judge me back. That's not okay at all. But I am working on my health as it is. And I'm always working on it. I'm never going to stop growing, learning and being who I want to be. And that's a very important thing I want you all to know. If something in, in your life feels like it's so, that it's so toxic, address it. If that person or a particular part of your life that you feel like you're only there because you have to, always know that there's always dreams you can go after. Even if you have like a particular job that you don't not like and you're only doing it for the money, save up if you can, even if it's taking like maybe $50 or something out of, or, or, of that payment and put it away. And then that can slowly can be your dream. Building who you truly want to be. That is an amazing goal. Because that's sort of what I'm doing. But. But this month. Actually. On the 6th of this month. It was my 7 years in recovery. Which is such an amazing achievement. I did start a new series called. Um, Fitness Journey Talk. Which I did introduce this month and um there's already episodes already up on my channel which you can just go check on my page well on my youtube all you gotta do is click the playlist and there you go but um i've been very proud of um actually introducing that um particular series because i have accountability um my fear of taking tablets which was a big one for me to really um, film that video and to be honest I haven't really taken any tablets since because it still terrifies me and I have to go go to my doctor to be able to talk about it and I also posted um the truth of my sobriety which was um inspired by Demi Lovato's sober song and also is my seven years in recovery cover which you guys haven't had a cover in over a year yay I may do another um, cover um, maybe next month. It just depends on what, what song or if I sit and actually do it as well. But what do I look forward to doing next month? Well, my focus is going to be on trying to make sure I'm on my products right. I'm not going to be doing such a big goal that I'm not going to be able to, com to actually commit to. Because I, I always say that, but then I don't do it. So... I'm going to try to make sure I figure out how the hell I'm going to take my, my products properly. So that's one. Two, I need to get a start on my fitness 
starting from um, Monday, which I, I will be doing, which is easy, new calendar, new month, done. Um, still working on my um, YouTube videos, which I will actually do a video for you guys exclu exclusively, well, more showing you guys what I have been doing for the last month, and it's only this past week I actually got off my ass properly, but... That's probably it. But thank you all so much for joining me for this video. You're probably thinking, didn't you say this in the last month? Yeah, probably did, probably didn't. But shit happens in a month too. And we just learned how to address that and do stuff that shit. Basically. But I am going to go and record a month talk for you straight away. So, because by the time you're watching this, I will be helping my brother move. So, I'm going to do another video because I know... Sunday, I'm going to be incredibly tired, basically. So I'm going to record two new videos after this video, but thank you so much for watching this video. A recent upload will come up, and the and the playlist for this um, reflecting series will be up, depending on which direction it comes in on YouTube. But remember, all my social media links and my website link is all down below, including all the series I post on my channel. Thank you all so much for joining me for this video, and I'll catch you all soon.